kids? Welcome to Refreshing Kids Church. I'm Sister Fanny. I am one of the team lead teachers at Refreshing Lives Church. I work alongside Sister Kita. Hi, Sister Kita. And Sister Deanna. Hi, Sister Deanna. At Refreshing Lives Kids Church. We are located at 212 Kale Road in Newburn, North Carolina. You can also find us on the web at refreshinglives.org. Our wonderful, wonderful pastors are Bishop Ronald Scott and co-pastor Angela Scott. Today, our lesson will continue on faith. But before we get started, we're going to go ahead and open up in prayer and the reading of our scripture by some of our wonderful and fabulous Y stars that also help support us in Children's Church. See you back in a few minutes. Good morning, everybody. My name is Tyra, and I'll be opening you guys up in prayer today. So if you would bow your heads and close your eyes with me, that would be great. Okay. Dear Lord God, I thank you for waking us up another day, Lord God. I just want to thank all of the mothers out there, young, old, every, every spiritual, faithful, every mother out there. I pray that this word that you have brought upon us today will bless everyone that you see fit. And I just pray that it places a stone in the ground so that we can always look back to it. We can always count on it. We can do everything we need to to move forward with our life. I thank you for every blessing that you have brought upon everyone's life, Lord God. I pray that you continue to bless us as you do. And I just thank you for everything that you've done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Romans ten seventeen. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Welcome back. So, over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about faith. I believe our first scripture reference was Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. Now that scripture taught us that it's important to have faith and why it's important to have faith and why it's important to trust God and how do we do that? Well, we build our faith. Well, before I say that, remember we also said that faith could be as small as a mustard seed, but the whole idea is that we have it and that we use it to trust God and everything he says and everything we believe he's going to do in our lives. In some previous videos, you guys talked about the wind. Well, I'm sitting outside today, and I can hear the wind. I can't see the wind, but I believe that the wind is there because I can feel the wind. You also talked about growing flowers. When you start a flower, you see a tiny seed, and then it grows. You don't really see it grow from the bottom. But you know and you believe that it's growing. And the evidence is when you see the flowers or the leaves sprout, sprout from the ground. That's exciting. So let's open our Bibles and read Romans 10, 17 together. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to go get your Bible. Well, while you go get your Bible, I am going to turn to Romans 10, 17 and wait for you there while you listen to this song. Faith is just believing what God says He will do. He will never fail us, His promises are true. If we but receive Him, His children we become. Faith is just believing this wondrous thing is done. So let's talk about faith. So normally when we talk about faith and we talk about hearing God, how do we normally hear or listen to people when they're talking to us? We normally use our ears, right? So if we have to hear from God, how do we do that? 
Well, there are many ways we can hear from God. We hear with our hearts. We hear with our minds. Of course, we hear with our ears. We read his word, his Bible words. And we, we hear him. I know that sounds kind of weird to hear with your heart and your eyes and your body. But God speaks to us in many, many ways. So to give you some more clarity on that, I have a little video I want you to watch and then we'll come back and discuss that. Okay, after that video, I'm hoping you have a better understanding of what it looks like to hear from God. He asked God in so many ways and times to say, talk to me, talk to me. And every time God sent some form or some reality to show him that he was there, whether he spoke to him and listening with his ears or seeing with his eyes or even with his body when the butterfly landed on him or around him. So let's talk about hearing God with our ears to be more specific just for this moment. Okay, so have you ever been in a crowded place where there's a lot of noise or a lot of background or a lot of voices? But if you hear your mother's voice or your father's voice, what happens? Your ears kind of perk up because you know that voice is very familiar to you. AJ! AJ! Where is that boy? I'm right here, Dad! Or what about in the classroom when the teacher's talking and other students are talking and you can't hear the lesson and you're so confused? <laughs> What do you need to do? You need to tune in those ears and perk up so you can hear the correct voice. Hey everybody, I'm Elder Greg. Well, I guess he was having a hard time recognizing God's voice, huh? Well, he was having a hard time recognizing God move the way God was moving. And sometimes it just happens that way. But we keep walking by faith. We'll get it. But I bet you I know who voice you recognize out of a crowd of a million people. Your mothers. And today is what? Today is Mother's Day. So we want to take this time to celebrate all you moms. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Hey, Watch Stars, won't y'all come help me celebrate these moms? Guys, today we realized that all superheroes don't wear capes. So today we came up all the mothers and grandmothers and soon to be mommies on this special day. From all the wise stars, we say thank you for what you do and sacrifice for your children, grandchildren, and soon to be children. We appreciate and love and cherish all you mothers out there that have done stuff for your children. And we hope that today is all you could imagine. If you don't have your children with you on this day, try to bless a mom even if it's with a smile. 
Happy Mother's Day. Bye. Hola, ladies. Happy Mother's Day to my mother and Pastor Angie and to all the other ladies at Refreshing Lives Church. We love you. Happy Mother's Day! I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms around the world. And I personally want to say Happy Mother's Day to my pastor, Pastor Angie. I thank you for being such an amazing woman of God. And I thank you for making a huge impact in my life. And I just want to say thank you and I love you. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day to all of our mothers out there. And a special Happy Mother's Day to our spiritual mother, Pastor Angie. And I just wish all of you the best. And Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day! We just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day and thank you for being there for us and being a role model. I just wanted to say thank you for being there and being there through tough times. And I just want to say thank you for encouraging us every step of the way. And all we got to say for the last part is Have, have a blessed, blessed Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day to all the amazing mothers out there. And thank you guys for all your love and support and for helping us with our faith so we can feel closer to God. And special shout out to our spiritual mother, Pastor Angie, and thank you for all you've done for us. And we love you. Happy Mother's Day. Today is a very special day as we salute every mother and wish you all a very happy Mother's Day from our RKC family and our Y Stars to every mother across the world. We want you to know that you are honored because Psalm 127 and three tells us that children are God's best gift. The fruit of the womb, his generous legacy. We also want to send a very special shout out to our spiritual mother, Pastor Angela Scott. We honor you on this day. We wish you a very happy Mother's Day. We thank God for you and we love you with all of our heart. We have a couple more videos and shout outs just so you know that we all love and appreciate you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world. You are loved, remembered, and appreciated because you care for us when, even when it's not easy. Wishing you all the happiness in the world because no one deserves it more than you do. And special shout out, Happy Mother's Day, Oma. We love you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world. Thank you for nurturing us and always being there for us. Thank you for protecting us in our time of need. And we will want to wish a special Happy Mother's Day to our Oma. We love, love you, Oma! Hi, I'm Trinity King. Hi, I'm TJ King. Happy Mother's Day, Oma! Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for being the best girl. Love you so much. Love how you're always there for us. Love you. Love you. Bye! Hi, my name is Marcus. Hi, my name is Dwayne Ellison. Hi, my name is Riley. We want to wish a happy Mother's Day to all, all, the, all the mothers. Including our Oma. Happy Mother's Day. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Oma. We love you. Oma, you're a little sweet. Sweet as a treat. Sweet as a treat. You're so sweet, I could hug you all day. Oh, won't you come visit me? Oh, won't you come visit me? You're sweeter than a sweet treat. You're sweeter than a donut. Hey, Refreshing Lives kids, it's Sister Deanna. We are learning to expand our faith. Romans 10, 17 tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. This week, in celebration of Mother's Day, let's honor the women that have helped us to expand our faith. I want to thank my mom, Yvonne Carter Dawson, and my pastor, Angela Scott. Who do you thank? Make sure you take the time and tell them this week. Have a God-awesome filled week.